In the beginning, there was darkness. There was nothing. But God brought light, God brought life, and God brought peace. That peace was destroyed by the actions of man because it was man who ate the apple. It was man who brought destruction. It was man who brought war. We are broken. We are lost. We brought sin. But love is a mysterious thing. God loved us so deeply that he gave his only son so that anyone who trusts and believes in him will not be lost, but have eternal life. 2,000 years ago, peace was declared by angels. Christ the Lord will be born in David's city. A prophecy was spoken. Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And his name will be Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. A promise fulfilled, a prophecy spoken, and on that day there was peace on earth. What if I were to tell you that Christmas is not just a celebration, but the start of a mission to save the nations? How a small boy grew to pay the price for man. How, with God's own son, it all began. Because the Saviour born has freed us, redeemed us, and will bring peace to the earth. Christmas Day, 1914. They said the pain, the hurt, the loss will be over by Christmas, yet on that day a Christmas truce. For a brief moment there was peace on earth, for he is our peace, who made both groups one and tore down the dividing wall of hostility. Since the beginning of time, the world has longed for peace. It still longs for peace. It is not just the absence of war, but it is the presence of God. Peace is shalom. Rest, joy, quietness, stillness, blessing, hope, and healing. Despite all man has achieved, we can still not reach peace. We still long for peace. In the end, there will be a new heaven and a new earth. So we can dance, sing, and rejoice in our freedom because our King is coming again. And on that day, there will be eternal peace on earth. 